so part three of my burning mouth syndrome journey um so in retrospect the uh the thing you got to work on is ex self-expression um when you have a pain that's chronic and you don't know if it's primary or secondary burning mouth you don't know it's psychological or deficiency uh that's causing your bms what you need to understand is uh that you uh find someone that you know that you trust and break it out break out what you're feeling out loud uh in front of them the reason is is that through self-expression although you you may say oh this is too simple to work well self-expression is the way to relieve psychological stress it's one of the things human beings do when they uh when they um, are trying to, uh, when you say things out loud and you hear what you're saying, it does something psychological. It triggers, triggers memories. It triggers uh, experiences. And those memories and experiences once brought to the forefront, which you're pulling out of your memory, because that's what's, what's, what's going on is you're pulling things out of your memory. Your eyes are looking up your your eyes are looking away from the person you're talking to as you're thinking and and that's a sign that you're pulling memories out uh when you look up or you look down or you look to the side uh, anywhere but the person you're talking to that means that your 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 hippocampus is being activated and you're trying to pull out these subconscious thoughts for some reason your eyes uh, move you know anywhere but the person you're talking to when you're thinking um and even right now when i'm thinking i'm looking away from the phone so you you could see through how i my eyes move when i think how psychologically we pull ideas out of out of our hippocampus so when i'm talking right now i'm pulling ideas out of my hippocampus when i'm talking to this phone because my eyes start wandering as I start to think about what I'm going to say. So the idea is, is that the more you talk, the more your brain is releasing or identifying things that may lead to your burning mouth. Now, women uh, get burning mouth way more than men, but I think that's just a subjective idea. I think that there's a lot of men much. Uh, it's way underreported, and it's one of those things that... Uh, uh, medic the medical field is very biased they get us to believe that women are substantially more affected than men it's a very bad bias in the medical i can't believe when i read these things that they're being published that say oh every time there's a, you know there's a symptom like pms fibromyalgia women get it more than men from 10 to 1 and you're like oh my god you know i'm a male and i i'm one of the ones that are like one tenth of what women get and then they're like oh yeah you know i can it's harder to diagnose men because the the medical field says that it's only one tenth of what women get and you're like thinking like is you know are we still in the 19th century whereas you know women are like like uh like portrayed as people that are extremely emotional and and extremely their their hormones or you know come on it's a bias it's a bias don't believe it it's not true it's, i mean look at history it's a series of sexual biases and once you leave that bias out of the equation you can get more to the root of the issue so you know my point is is that you know your your mind and what the medical field tells you will leave you on tangents and you have to start somewhere you could start with the physical or the psychological they're both connected so you know write down in a, your your journal i always recommend a journal writing things puts it down on paper 
it cements it. So write down what you're you're thinking, and 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 piece it together. Piece it, get a whiteboard. Piece it together. Be your own your own advocate. Be your own doctor. You can be your own doctor. It's your body. Do they're like doctors, oh, they need medical. Dude, how many doctors have actually helped you? Helped you in the long run? You know, instead of prescribing random, you know, things that they, they have no clue what they're doing. So, you know, everybody's got oh, medical advice. Get medical advice. Oh, yeah, how, how has it helped you? How has it helped you? Compared to, to a sound advice about self-expression. Can doctors... Ex express your environment, your social context. Can doctors express that? No, they they remove your social and environmental context, and they put you into a category where you're just the robot. You're just this this organism that's the same as everything else. It's every, everybody the, the the thirty other patients that showed up with your issue. So, you know, be your own advocate. You know, if you got a major medical, you know, issue, you know, it's, it's, of course, they're, the, they're there to be specialists and they're there to, to, uh, you know, deal with that. But uh, come on, something complicated like that, you know, they don't have enough experience with that. It takes, it takes, you know, takes your own Sherlock Holmes type abilities to piece that together. And that takes, that takes a lot of planning and trial and error on your part to help yourself and which is why I describe everything like a puzzle. You go from one thing to another. Did this help? Did that help? You'll be bouncing back and forth for years under with BMS under the care of most physicians because they're procedures or their treatment for such a thing doesn't work a lot of bms is psychological taking prozac and and you know whatever or 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 some balta for bms i never met one person in my life that said some balta or any of this stuff cured their bms how can these things cure your environment, your situation, your childhood? They don't erase things. You know, come on. Okay. And then there's like part, you know, four, five, six, whatever. How many videos? You know, the, the more I dig into things, you know, these are just, I'm just giving you simplified versions of, of thinking. You know, you can go all the way to ATP. You know, or you can go all the way to, you know, the organelles or all parts of cells that control energy production. And you can go into the scientific, biological, biochemical factors of of all this stuff, you know, and, and there's so much to talk about. Adenine triphosphate, you know, it's like the the, the energy production of, of, the, of the cell. And how the, 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 the most basic things that control pain, you know, molecule P, which is pain, GABA A. The more GABA amino butyric acid you produce and the less, a, uh, 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 less molecule P, the less pain, less P going to your brain, the more GABA A going to your brain, the less pain you're going to experience. You could break down chemicals that control your pain from burning mouth. But that's not going to get to the root of your issue. This, you know, even if you, you are having a deficiency, you know, the, the blood test will point to something and then you'll, you'll, you'll take it. It may help. It may not. But always be psychologically sound whether it is physical it's still mental the pain is about struggle and is about making it through the day the day day by day you need to comfort yourself 
You need to console yourself because of those thoughts of when is this going to end will go through your mind over and over again. And to eliminate psychological aspects, no, you're not crazy. You're normal. You're normal no matter how cra crazy you think you are. The more crazy you are, the more normal you are. Because that's a natural response to struggle, to suffer. Those thoughts are natural. But you got to deal with them. You got to write down those thoughts. And you got to process them. And those doctors, they won't do that for you. You know. That one hour at your therapist, that won't cut it. You got to do, you got to love yourself. You got to love yourself. And I know you're out there and you're crying because you're struggling. And that's normal. And you have to know that's normal. Because the more normal you think that is, to feel pain and feel suffering, the more you'll accept it and the more you'll process it and the better you'll get and the more you'll accept yourself, whether it's a deficiency or not, you still need to accept yourself psychologically in your current condition. And then at the end, the hope, hope cannot be given to you in doses. It has to come from within. And these things are not prescribed. Hope cannot be prescribed. There's no pharmacist in the world that prescribes hope. And so you get into these things, and you know, I, I, I you know, I, uh, I, I read literature. You read literature. We all read literature about it. But what do you have to offer to other people? As I have to offer to other people, we do have things to offer, and it's our experiences, and what helped us, what didn't, what may help you, what may not second opinions go go get second opinions if they if they don't help then look outside that if you stay within one range you're limiting yourself and things will become clearer as you go along you have to invest time in this thing and there's many other things but you know i'm not i'm not you know uh ashen anybody but it takes a lot of effort and without effort there's no progress so everybody you have a great day try to produce more more you know ecstatic videos like this for you guys um you know the mind just wants to get out of the skull sometimes so you guys have a great day bye